Um, and now we're going to move on to um, presenting the Innovators Award. Um, and I see that we have um, Secretary LaRose um, from Ohio, as well as Mandy Grangine, the Director of Elections and Depu Deputy Secretary of State. Um, so I did want to kind of go over a little bit of background. And in addition to serving as NASED President, um, I had the honor of serving this year as the chair of the NASED Awards Committee, where I was joined by Leslie Bellamy from Arkansas, from Nebraska, and Kai Sean from Wyoming. And the NASA Innovators Award recognizes, recognizes innovative training procedures, technologies, partnerships, and practices from the 50 states, District of Columbia, and the five U.S. territories. The award is issued in the summer of odd years um, for projects implemented by the previous general election. We first issued the award in 2019, and looking back, it's like we already knew that 2020 was going to present our members with unprecedented opportunities for creative ideas. We received 14 submissions from 10 states. Um, some were specific to the pandemic circumstances. Some were good reminders that despite every time, everything that last year threw at us, election officials had to keep going with more mundane business of running elections. All of the submissions were incredible, and it was so impressive to read, excuse me, read um, about the things NASA members accomplished last year. Before I announce our winner, I wanted to acknowledge the Iowa's efforts with Vote Shield, Washington's physical asset tracking system, and Arizona's Citizen Initiative Internship Program. While their submissions didn't quite come out on top, they came very close. The awards committee was truly impressed with their work and wanted to be sure they got an honorable mention. Uh, and now it gives me great pride to announce the winner of the 2021 Innovators Award in, is Ohio with their precinct election official recruitment program, Lawyers for Liberty. Through this program, lawyers serving as poll workers on election day could receive continuing legal education credit. And even better, this inspired other state professional associations to step up to service uh, like the Accountability Board, the Ohio Real Estate and the Ohio Library Council to also offer continuing education credit to other members who stepped up to serve as poll workers on election day. Lawyers for Liberty was so successful that Ohio had more poll workers trained and ready to serve for the 2020 general election than they've ever had before. Not only that, after hearing Mandy talk about it last year, other states used the idea. Not NASA, NAS partnered with the American Bar Association to encourage more lawyers to serve at the polls. It was exciting to watch such a great idea spread nationwide in real time. Congratulations to Mandy Grangine, Secretary LaRose, and the entire staff of the Ohio Secretary of State's Office for a true, truly innovative idea. Well, thank you so much, Michelle. And I got to say, um, I'm very proud of this award, mainly because of who it comes from. It comes from you all, the elections directors around the country who, who know uh, really how much work goes into running a fair and an accessible election. And so the fact that it comes from, from you all uh, means the world to me. We had a lot of really fun and creative things that we tried last year. And I think last year was really fertile ground for trying new and innovative things from our styling for democracy initiative, where we were out at uh, over a hundred barbershops and beauty salons with voter registration forms and and, and, and poll worker sign up forms to our raise a glass for democracy initiative where we craft uh, where we partnered with craft breweries around the state to get people registered to vote and put the reminder right there on the cans and bottles about how important it is to register to vote but uh, among all of those our lawyers for liberty uh, what was probably something that really made a huge impact because it, here's what it allowed us to do. Uh, it allowed us to make sure that every polling location was fully staffed on election day, along with a couple other, I think, really creative things that we were doing on poll worker recruitment. Uh, I was reaching out to my fellow military veterans through an initiative that we called a second call to duty. The idea being that our men and women who 
who took that oath uh, one time can continue keeping that oath by answering a second call to duty of being a poll worker. Uh, Youth at the Booth, where 17 year olds could sign up to be a poll worker in Ohio. We partnered with Ohio companies, large and small, as well as nonprofits and, and public sector entities through our Give a Day for Democracy initiative, where employers were giving their employees a free day off to sign up to be a poll worker. But the Lawyers for Liberty program was one uh, that I got to give a lot of credit to Mandy for as a lawyer herself. She took a particular interest in this. I got to tell you that when we rent, we went in front of the commission that awards CLE credits, they were very uh, challenging. Uh, they, they were not uh, they were not easy uh, to to to, uh, to sort of give away uh, CLE credits. They made us earn it. Let's just say during my time as an Army Green Beret, I was trained, and I, I sorry to make light of this, but I was trained to uh, with withstand enhanced interrogation, and that's kind of what the grilling I received from the uh, CLE commission reminded me of. These are folks that took that very seriously and they weren't going to give away CLE credits unless it actually did something very useful for the profession of law. And so I'll tell you that, that we earned it, Mandy and I did, and, and, it, and it, it turned out to be a great program. Uh, throughout Ohio, many lawyers signed up. As you mentioned, it uh, encouraged other professional organizations to award continuing education credits as well. Uh, realtors did, the uh, CPAs did in Ohio. Uh, the librarians uh, ac across the state were able to receive continuing education credits. The bottom line was this, when Ohio's polls opened on election day, we had 56,000 poll workers trained and ready to go. That equaled a 150% allocation uh, of the normal number. So I told our boards of elections, if you normally need 1,000 poll workers, uh, this year you're looking for 1,500. If you normally need 100, this year you're looking for 150. The fact that we went to that uh, that 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 hundred and fifty percent allocation for our poll workers meant a couple things. First of all, we had adequate people so that every polling location opened on time and was fully staffed. But just as important, we were creating a cadre of trained people who understood how elections really worked. It could be sort of that grassroots force to push back on some of the false information that was out there. What I thought was that if we could have many tens of thousands of Ohioans who had a deeper understanding for how elections administration really worked, that they would be a great effort in our combating disinformation work as well. And so uh, the, the whole thing was a success and, and we're glad to be able to do it. I look to uh, hopefully replicate it in, in years to come. And once again, I really appreciate your recognition, everyone. Thank you. Um, you know, it was a great program. We enjoyed reading all about it, and it certainly has inspired some of us, you know, to, to get involved and get other organizations involved. And, and, and that's one of the great parts about NASA generally is the sharing of information. Um, so, I, and again, I think today we, we did learn a lot from each other. Uh, all of the panelists were great. Um, we are going to adjourn for the day. Before we do that, I want to remind everyone that we'll resume on Thursday, August 19th at noon. Um, and having said that, um, I would like to give a big shout out to Amy before we break for the day, just because today's scheduling uh, has been great. All of the panels have been fantastic. She keeps us organized. She keeps us on time. Uh, we certainly appreciate um, her organizing this and running all of the technical interference for, for the rest of us, some of us who are very technically challenged. Um, so with that, I want to say thank you for everyone who came. and. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again next week.